KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we got a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix coming from the Dow, which is up 103 points, and a tranny is down three. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices trading the upside. Now, the S&P is only up two points, so basically flat. About 30 points for the Nasdaq and three and a half points for the Russell. Semis are up one and seven tenths percent. That's a $51 move. Gold is trading up $4 plus, 1824 and change is the print. Silver's up at 2012. That's up seven pennies. Lights recruit off a buck twenty. Natural gas down 15 cents, trading out at 253. And the 30 year treasury print out 124.30. That is up nearly one full point. Let's try to figure out what all that means by taking a look at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. So what happened yesterday? Price pulled back inside its daily profile. Right now is testing its support zone. The support zone for the ES mini is between 39.57 and 39.90. Spot volatility is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 20.50. As long as that condition remains, the S&P 500 should move sideways to higher. The NQ, what did it do yesterday? Just uh, it's really been consolidating with inside its daily profile. That consolidation has been going on since February the 17th. Of course, today is March the 8th. It has a bullish structured profile and it has a Gartley buy pattern. That support level is 11,832.50. That's the price point that price would need to close below to negate that Gartley buy pattern. The US dollar index has got an A to B equal CD to the upside. It's trading above daily and weekly profiles. This wants to motor higher. Its next price projection level is about 106.42. Goldilocks making its way back, testing and so far rejecting its TD9 count bottom pattern. As long as it remains above 18, 15, 50, that pattern remains in effect. If price closes below that well you could get an a to b equal cd to the downside but that would require a close below 18 10 80. if we take a look at silver it's trading below profile and a big kind of bottom signal out here that i know of that i can recall other than there may be a roads momentum indicator signal which needs a bullish reversal candle well we don't have that as we speak today light speed crude is trading with inside its daily profile it got back into it yesterday that support area is between 7440 and resistance at 79 and a quarter if we take a look at natural gas we've got a consolidation going on there with inside its daily profile support at 247 resistance up at the 286 area and finally if we take a look at the 30-year treasury it is trying to generate a change in trend signal it would do that to Day with a close above 125.25. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.